being a silly soul like me an opportunity to speak first of all i'd like to congratulate free meal perhaps one day uh, i would like to first of all congratulate the president for 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 coming to the highest office in the land madam president's ascension to the uh, to the highest office is a testimony to the diversity of india i'd like to congratulate her once again i'm also very thankful for, to her for a secretary it very thoughtfully invited all mps to come and visit our garden uh, i know the garden has been renamed from the mughal gardens to amrit udyan but i'm sure the flowers are st still smelling as sweet as they were before <laughs> sir convention demands that the president acts on the aid and advice of the government and the president's address is settled by the government and the president reads out what the government is prepares for her and in this case we all know when we mean government it's really the pmo the president he being a true constitutionalist has been true to the the text which has been supplied to her but sir with all responsibility i would like to make a very serious charge here i would like to charge the government for misleading and for deceiving the president because the president read out the address given to her by the government but the reality from what the president read and what it is is very different and i would like to give four or five instances where the government has misled the president the honorable president said india's eternal journey as a mother of democracy is filled with infinite pride but what is the reality sir in india opposition is is, is stifled voices of dissent is quelled agencies are let out let loose on political opponents governments are disturbed raj bhavans are used to to destabilize elected governments there is horse trading this is the reality of the indian democracy today but the pride president was misled into believing that we are the mother of democracy and our hearts are filled with pride sir the president said my government is constantly trying to rid every sign of slave mentality but this government uses every colonial tool like sedition to quell dissent this is a country in which 154 journalists have been either arrested detained interrogated or served show cause notice we rank below mexico afghanistan and yemen in the list of countries which treat the media badly here again the president has been misled by our own government sir on the 24th of january there was a report a report by a self styled short seller which many in this house have alluded to which caused a lot of ripples in our market the president spoke on the 31st of january but this government did not deem fit to advise and aid the president to put those rumors to rest there were many serious charges by that report there was nothing new in the report sir many people have said the same things what was there in the report about a particular company about the financial dealings of that particular company and the lack of oversight by the many institutions like sebi and rbi but the government had a golden opportunity the government had a golden opportunity of advising the president about the real mecha the, the 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 oversight mechanisms we have here the robust systems we have here the government could have easily addressed those concerns and put an end to the controversy but the government did not say one word did not say one word and misled the president once again without addressing the issue which is of grave concern today the president in her address has said we have built a bharat where youth is well ahead of its time but what is the reality sir 33 lakh children in india are malnourished the acer report the annual status of education report says that the reading and arithmetic skills of indian children has gone down as per the economic survey of the own of the, this government it would says that only 3.3% of the working age population has any formal vocational training the ilo says 25% of indian youth are unemployed out of the 25% youth one third have professional qualifications further i'll give you another statistic sir in the last 8 years 22 crore people have applied for government jobs because there are no jobs outside they are applying for government jobs but only 7.2 lakh out of the 22 crore have been given jobs by the government but here they mislead the president into believing that this government is building a nation for the youth of the future once again sir i would like to point out another instance the president said a major achievement of my government has been the empowerment of women and the president has used the word nari shakti and women 20 times in her speech but what does this government do what does this government do it releases 
the rapist of Bilkis Banu. That is exactly what this government does. The government misleads the president once again. Sir, the president said India's strength is in the digital India being acknowledged by the world. But what is the reality? In the last eight years, we have the highest number of internet shutdowns. 682 times internet has been shut down in India in various parts. We have had a 10x increase in cyber-related attacks. Most importantly, sir, with all responsibility, I'm telling you today, there is this program known as BharatNet, by which they're supposed to connect every panchayat with Wi-Fi. I am telling you, sir, if nothing deserves a JPC, this deserves a JPC. We need to investigate what is happening to this BharatNet project. Not one panchayat. I challenge every member of parliament here to stand up and say whether any panchayat in his or her parliament has got Wi-Fi facility through this BharatNet. This is going to be the biggest scam. It is going to unravel and there has to be a JPC into this, into this BharatNet scheme, sir. The government, the president says, the government has tried to relieve the poor from the basic worries of, by providing basic facilities like toilet, electricity, and water, and cooking gas. But what is the reality, sir? 17% of this population, as per the government's report itself, does not have access to, power, to talk clean toilets. But that, you know, in the reality, it's actually a much higher number. Electricity, as per the government, Niti Ayog's report itself, 13% of households still do not have electricity connections. And as per the government's own, own record, even though it claims that everybody has got LPG gas, the NF, NFHS data says only 59% of the households use cooking fuel. So this government has consistently misled the president in every issue and has made the president read a report which is completely divorced from reality. Sir, I will tell you one more last point, sir. They say we are in Amritkal. In Tamil, there is a saying, sir. What it means, sir, even Amrit in excess will become poison. The only thing we get in this Amrit Kal is propaganda, sir. And with this excess propaganda, all we are going to get is poison, sir. Thank you very much.